episode of Run, Lift, Push, Recovery. So it's been a couple of weeks since I posted anything. The last episode was on travel and getting workouts done, uh, which went pretty well. And there's a tip on getting your quick dry clothing to dry a little quicker about halfway through that episode. So click on that if you're interested. Uh, but it's been a series of setbacks I haven't been exactly enthusiastic about posting much of anything about updates because I got a bug for two weeks, kind of slightly out of commission, uh, and then I had some knee problems, had to basically ice that thing every single day uh, for a week, and then the last two weeks I've had uh, really big problems with my left hamstring, kind of right on the edge of, I think, pulling it or tweaking it pretty badly. I was excited to get back at it, and then my knee flared up. I've had some on and off issues. I don't know if it's tendonitis, but just sort of the side of the knee will swell up on me uh, and get really tender, so sprinting is painful. Got some workouts in, but was not full speed, which is sort of the key to this US bobsled tryout. Uh, iced it down, things were feeling way better this week, and then I started having trouble with my left hamstring, just getting really tight and sore and not wanting to push it too hard because I was feeling it in the first step or two even on a 15 meter just basic start last workout i dialed it down i was supposed to get uh, a couple of hundred meter repeats in at the end of the workout uh, at the 60 meters i was starting to basically just form jog and then on the 100 meters you can tell i just dialed it completely down and just sort of said i need to live to fight another day um, but with four weeks left till this combine uh, for the u.s olympic bobsled team I'm actually in kind of recovery mode. I'm trying to do a lot of preventative and rehab stuff. Uh, the hamstring even today, the day after the workout, is still feeling really tender, but I'm in a bit of mental funk again. I thought I'd work my way out of that. You can see the issue there, in that I was trying to set goals and write some things down and, and give myself the hope that I had time left to make this thing happen. In fact, I filled out the application, I filled out my resume and I paid the fee and I even did a reel which it'll link to here a recruitment reel which doesn't necessarily look like anything more than a montage from a cheesy Hallmark movie but I put one together hopefully they'll see the commitment level that I've put into this thing uh, the other realization that I've made is that this might be a year-long journey uh, I may need a full year um, to get myself in the shape that I need to be in order to train the way I need to in order to try to compete to possibly make a slot on the bobsled team. That realization has been a little bit tough to swallow only because I feel like I've worked so hard to get to this point only to have my body be mad at me and not do the things I wanted it to do. Which I guess happens when you're in your mid-30s and you got two kids and a full-time job. I hope the next episode is a little more encouraging for both of us. Until then, stay epic.